Malema recently found himself in hot water for crossing the line by his and the EFF's remarks on the passing of Pravin Gordon, who passed on on the 13th of September 2024. People speculate that it was because of what happened in the past between them, which we will talk about in a moment. People expected the traditional post of writing condolences and rest in peace as usual to Pravin Gordon, but it was not the case with the EFF's president, Julius Malema. The EFF posted a statement that startled people as he said all bad things about Pravin Gordon. The economic freedom fighters knows the death of Pravin Gordon without any pretense of sorrow. His legacy is one of destruction and betrayal by leading the collapse of South Africa's state-owned enterprises. Gordon will be remembered as an unapologetic instrument of capitalism who left a trail of unemployment and poverty. He dies unpunished for his crimes, but the people will never forget the damage he caused. But people spotted something as well. Malema usually defended Pravin Gordon only when he was comparing Pravin to Jacob Zuma. If I had to choose between Zuma and Pravin, Obviously, I will choose Pravin, not this criminal's threatening stability and growth of our country. At another post on a different date, he also said, Zuma is fighting back because of evidence presented by Treasury to public protector on state capture. We support hashtag Pravin and not criminals. But what could make Julius Malema hate Pravin to the point of death? It seems the only thing that makes sense is when Pravin was investigating the tax evasion of Julius Malema, where Julius Malema owed SARS an amount of about 16 to 18 million rands. Malema did finally pay off the balance and rumors had it it was his close friend who helped out, who is alleged to be a tobacco smuggler, Adriano Mazzotti, and who currently is one of the founders of the EFF. Let me know what you think on the comment box below.